You are watching Jelly Pie Central News and I'm Lottie. Today I'm talking to Sue Monroe, the magnificent author of The Magnificent Moon Hair. Describe moon hair in one word. In one word, um, mad. What do you like most about moon hair? Um, well, he's, he's very kind. He'd be, he'd be a, a very good friend to have, I think. And he's, um, I like writing moon hair. He's, he's kind of easy to write. He sort of writes himself. In fact, I have to slow down because when I'm writing the moon hair, I go off and there's pages and pages of the moon hair just being really stupid. And then I think, <laughs> no, no, stop cut some, cut some. <laughs> so he's easy to write and he's good fun to write as well because he can do anything. The thing about the moon hair is he's, he's silly and, and very magical and um, you only start to see that in the other books but yeah. he's, he's, he's quite a sort of interesting character to write because there's lots to him. He's not just silly. How did you come up with the character of Sandra? Well, Sandra, see, I've always liked dragons. I like stories that have got dragons in them. I like fantasy stories and things like that, especially when I was growing up. And I just thought it would be lovely to have a character that was um, that was Sandra, really. Who is? He's very um, proud and rude and badly behaved, but he's also he's a nice character as well. He's not he's not really a baddie, but he is. So he's quite an interesting character to write. So I like writing Sandra. But um, he just sort of grew and grew. He was only going to be a little character at the beginning. He was just going to be, PJ wanted a dragon and she got one. But then I got a bit carried away. <laughs> and now he's a star. <laughs> Moon Hair likes to store things down his tights so that when he needs them, he's got them. Does Sandra have a similar trick up his sleeve? No, Sandra is just... Sandra just takes things that he wants and if he can't take them he just blasts people so I don't think he's not as he wouldn't be as inventive as moon hair as having these wonderful stripy tights that he puts things down <laughs> Sandra just takes what he wants because he's so badly behaved what part of jelly pie tower do you like the most jelly pie cinema it has to be it has to be because I love the cinema I love films really love films so yes and Jelly Pie Cinema is just so cool because I like the little jelly cube. I've decided he's my favourite, you see. So, um, and he's in it at the moment. So, yeah, Jelly Pie Cinema. What's your funniest memory? Oh, my funniest memory. I have quite a nice memory of when I was little. I used to have imaginary friends and they were always like sort of dogs. And, I mean, we always had dogs and cats and things, but I used to still imagine. So we'd have a real dog, but I had an imaginary dog as well. That's, that's how we were. And I had an imaginary sausage dog called Colin. <laughs> and he used to be able to fly. He used to have a beanie hat with a propeller and he used to fly and I loved him. And then one day, um, well one time we were on holiday with my mum and dad and my sister and we went to Dorset and there's some big cliffs in Dorset and we, we were sitting on there one evening and I don't know why but I decided that my dog had fallen over the cliff and I was getting really upset, my, my dog's Colin's gone over the cliff and my mum and dad are saying shh because there's all these people walking past and I'm saying my dog's fallen over the cliff and anyway my dad bless him, he was very sweet, he decided, he said, I'll go down after it. <laughs> so he climbed, I mean, it probably wasn't a big cliff, but to me it seemed like a really big cliff because I was only about, you know, I was only little. My dad climbed all the way down this cliff and there was a big group of people by now sort of behind us watching, you know, and he came back up and he went, here it is. And I looked and I went, that's not my dog. <laughs> so I was in trouble after that because I had to go home. But, <laughs> but that's probably my funniest, that was my favourite memory of making my dad go down the side of a cliff to look for an imaginary dog that wasn't there. Thank you, Sue. That's it from Jelly Pie Central. Bye. <laughs>